All right, it's Coach Nick here. We already talked about the good old-fashioned side punch with the ball. Now I'm going to show you how to make it combat specific for your fighters and integrate in the very important neck muscles. The neck is very much part of your core. I wrote a whole article about that called Stick Your Neck Out. Um, you can find that on Google. Um, so you want to integrate in your neck. Your neck flexors are part of an entire flexor chain. So we showed you the anterior neck flexors are part of your anterior trunk. Your lateral neck flexors are part of your lateral chain. So all we do there is you're going to take this hand. Now there's two ways to do this. I can either hold my head in neutral and try to push it out of neutral, not allow that to happen, and do my crunch. And this hand can be here wherever you'd like it. Or again, staying in line. Or I can actually add some extension or lateral extension or lateral flexion. And now we get a little more concentric activity in the neck there. So any combat athlete will tell you, especially if you're into wrestling and grappling, that you have to always use your head in different directions to help you get takedowns or when you're in guard or popping out of guard, posturing and whatnot. So if you don't have a good strong neck, if that's the weakest part of your body, then you're going to be weak in the ring. So integrate that in, especially because you don't have it will save you some time. You don't have to worry about special neck training. You can integrate it right in with your core training. So that's the combat side crunch.